Hello everyone, in this video we will draw and label the scheme of large intestine. The surface of large intestine is smooth, doesn't create uh, villi or circular folds as a small intestine, uh, but epithelium invaginates into underlying uh, disconnective tissue and create intestinal glands or uh, crypts of Libequin. Uh, entire surface of uh, the lumen and uh, the intestinal crypts uh, are lined by simple columnar epithelium with uh, goblet cells. Uh, both of them uh, have uh, basal located uh, nuclei, but uh, goblet cells uh, have a very pale cytoplasm uh, due to uh, mucous vacuoles in uh, their cytoplasm. Uh, beneath the epithelium is uh, the lamina propria, disconnective tissue, uh, which contains uh, collagen fibers, uh, blood vessels, and very often lymph nodules. Uh, this is lymphocytes, uh, which aggregates and to uh, form the sphere structure. So this is the lymph nodules. And uh, the last uh, layer of mucosa is the lamina muscularis mucosa, uh, which is formed, uh, formed by uh, smooth muscle cells and create the border between mucosa and submucosa. So the next layer is a submucosa, uh, also loose connective tissue with uh, collagen fibers, uh, blood vessels and the submucosal plexus of uh, mycenary. So this is the plexus. Uh, the next uh, uh, tunica is the tunica muscularis externa, uh, which is uh, formed uh, by uh, smooth muscle cells and uh, is subdivided into two layers, inner circular layer and outer longitudinal layer. So, cells in the circle, uh, circular uh, layer uh, you can see in the longitudinal section, in the cross section through the uh, large intestine. And uh, longitudinal layer is very uh, thin, uh, apart from uh, the three places where it is uh, thickened uh, to form um, the tiny coli, which are visible on the colon by uh, the naked eye. So this is the longitudinal layer. Smooth muscle cells in the, the uh, cross section. And here is uh, the tiny E. coli, thickened part of the longitudinal layer. And uh, nuclei. And between the circle and longitudinal layer uh, is a mentoric nervous uh, plexus of our Bach. And uh, the last la uh, layer is uh, serosa or adventitia. Serosa is a layer of uh, loose connective tissue uh, uh, lined uh, by mesothelium, one layer of squamous cells. Right, this is the serosa. One layer of mesothelial cells with the flattened nuclei. 
uh, serosal covers most of the large intestine and adventitia is a loose connective tissue that uh, blends into uh, the surrounding structures and uh, adventitia covers uh, the retroperitoneal and uh, subperitoneal uh, uh, parts of the large intestine that means the posterior surface of the ascending and descending colon and uh, the lower part uh, of uh, the rectum so that's all now we uh, label the scheme uh, uh, the epithelium is a simple columnar epithelium uh, and goblet cells So this layer is a lamina epithelialis mucosa, intestinal crypts, oh, oh, glands, and uh, uh, the crypts of Leak Nibakin uh, beneath the epithelium lamina propria mucosa, which contains lymph nodule. Or follicles next layer is um, the lamina muscularis mucosa next layer is submucosa Next layer is tunica muscularis externa. Inner is circular layer. Outer longitudinal and uh, tene coli between the uh, circular and uh, longitudinal layer uh, it's a menteric plexus of Auerbach and last layer the serosa or adventitia. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attention.